Hey Fashionistas, hi! Again, this is Faith and I'm coming in. I have a quick reveal that I just want to share with you. Um, welcome back to Fashion and Fitness Done Right. That's W-R-I-G-H-T. Ladies, I want to ask you how you're doing. And today is Terrific Tuesday and you know how we do. No matter what we're going through, we're going to push our way through and get our work done. And even for me today, I have been procrastinating all day long, but I wanted to show you one of the items that I did a few days ago regarding, um, remember we talked about the de the designer and the goops um, in the jewelry segment? I loved it so much and there was that last particular item that I talked about and I wanted to purchase it. So I ordered it. It was the, the Tiffany dupe. It was the Tiffany charm bracelet dupe and it came with a scripture on it. I think it was Proverbs 4 and 23. And I don't want to waste one minute. I want to come and show it to you now because it it came so well. You know how I feel about loving the details. And it's such a simplistic gift. I think it would be beautiful for the grandbabies maybe to give grandma for uh, Mother's Day or the babies to give to mommy for Mother's Day. So moms and grandmoms, if you're watching... I hope you would allow the little ones, show the little ones that you might love to have this little beautiful bracelet. And before we go any further, I want to remember to ask you to continue to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's like, comment, share, and subscribe. Continue to support me on my channels. My channel is at Facebook, which is Fashion Done Right, and then also on Instagram at Fashion and Fitness Done Right. These are the places that when you don't see me here going with the segments in um, information or fashion here on the YouTube channel, you can always find me there on one of those channels. I'm pushing information. I'm pushing, um, even been pushing the, the fashion that's coming up now. I'm doing that on my Instagram. The fashion that's coming up for the for the fall, yes, already, for the fall and uh, winter seasons for 2023 and 24. And so, um, again, remember to support me to support me there. Ladies, I want to take a minute and I just want to just um, talk about, a. a um, I, I feel kind of compelled to talk about it. And then I say, because it's Rihanna, I really don't want to talk about it. But I've purchased, you know, I don't know if you've been noticing, I've been trying to find um, a neutral lip. I'm not really a color, as you notice over the, these last few years that I've been doing um, YouTube. I always keep my lip pretty neutral. Every once in a while, I'll try to be bold and step out in red or maybe a hot pink. But normally, it's a neutral color. So I recently found colors that I love, and I found a pencil that I love. And so what I'm noticing so this is the pencil. I don't know if I'm going to put it up or not, but I just, I'm just going to talk about it. I, I won't put it up, but it's the Ju Juvia's Place. Unless you, unless you want the information, I'm just going to talk about it because I'm a little disappointed at this, this uh, Fenty Beauty. Um, I don't even know what it is. Hold on. It's called Unbutton. Oh, it's called the, the, the Stunner, Stunner Lip Paint, but, um, the reason why I'm a little disappointed with it, and it's such so beautifully displayed, that beautiful neutral color is what I've been looking for, finally found it. And the reason why I'm a little disappointed at it is because each and every time I go to use it, it always creates a buildup in the my creases. The last time when I was doing the video regarding the jewelry, um, I said, I saw the buildup. Now, I thought maybe it was corn chips because I had eaten some corn chips. Here I go. Let me just put the radio over there. I'm going to keep talking. Um, and I looked at the buildup, but I reviewed from the beginning. And I said, wait a minute. I didn't have any any um, any uh, creases, uh, medicine mess on the side of my mouth. So I recognized that it was because of the buildup of this particular, and I used it that particular day. I love the color as again, I love this color, but each and every time I use it, it causes a major buildup. This is Fenty Beauty. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera's going to let you see that. It's Fenty Beauty. It's a beautiful color, but for some reason, either I don't know how to do it, even after I, sometimes I blot it, it just doesn't work. So I ended up I've been going with the 
um, is this, this is Dior, and I've been going with the Lip Glow Color Revival Balm. This really works for me. It's so, it's such a color. I don't, can you see that? Oh my goodness. I didn't even mean to go here, but I was kind of disappointed. I really want to, you know, I always want to support, especially, um, I want to always support a black owned business. It, it doesn't matter that it's Rihanna and she's a billionaire. It's just, I wanted to support. And, um, so this is the one that I have on now. And I love it. And this is the brown pencil. I had a pencil before that was just a tad bit too dark. I know, I, I know, I know. But this one blends, my book is about to fall. This one blends beautifully for me. And so I just wanted to know if anybody else was having, experiencing that problem with any of Rihanna's uh, makeup. And if, if for some reason I'm not doing it right, is that the reason why it keeps building up on the side? Once I put it on, I'll, I'll line my lip and I usually, uh, put that, um, lip glaze on or whatever it is. And, um, I, and I'll blot it. I'll go back and blot it. But every now and then I still see, I think this is the second time since that last time. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to, I didn't even mean to go here, but since we're talking, um, the picture, last time and the time before that was on my birthday when I took tried to take myself out for uh, a dinner a lunch a afternoon brunch by myself for celebrating my birthday and that was last year okay um bring it back in let me as what's the name Al, Alvin Alano does let me bring it back in okay um back to what I was talking about I really absolutely love this and I want to show it to you. Uh, again, I told you, it is the 14 karat titanium inspirational quote bracelet. I'm going to show you the picture here now. Remember what I said to you. I told you that it was, um, it had 256 4.2 stars. Um, it was not expensive. I think it was less than $50. But what I loved about it, I loved the, um, I loved the quote of scripture, which said, guard your heart for Everything you do flows from it. Okay, it says guard your heart. So I really wanted it because I really wanted to keep it for myself. And then as I ordered it and I was waiting on it, I was reminded of another scripture that says to allow your word to be hid in the heart. Take the word and hide it in your heart that we might not sin against God. And so this is how it came. So I've, I've made a decision that I'm going to probably bless this to either the grandchildren, because they said the little girls, can, the girls can have it. So I'll probably give all the little granddaughters one for Mother's Day from Grandma. Okay. But again, I think it's a beautiful gift. Again, here, this is how it came. Ladies, you know I'm all over the place. Just roll with me. Just roll with me. I really wanted to, I really wanted to show you because I really thought it was just, you know how I feel about love and the detail. I just thought it was just so beautifully done. And this is supposed to be the tree of life. It's so, oh, you can't. Every time I pull up, oh, the white, see the tree of life? On the top of it, it has two little white doves. And it has butterflies and it. it's just beautiful. The box says, remember this is how it comes out of the bag. Out of the bag, it comes like this. It says, our vision is to create better jewelry and gifts for more people. Okay, and so again, it comes, it's so beautifully done. It comes in the box, absolutely beautifully done. Um, everything else inside, it has... It has the card. I'm going to put that picture up here right now. It has the card. I'm showing you. I'm going to show you the box in a minute. But I just want you to see how beautiful. I always, I stress this because I love giving a gift that shows that somebody really thought about me. And it's not always that it has to be over the top expensive by, um, as far as a dollar is concerned. It can be a beautifully done gift as this one is. So here we have, and it comes with its own bag. And the bag says, the bag says, just for you. I'm showing you the picture here, but I also want to show you here while it's in my hand. The bag says, just for you. And then it comes with its own card. So it says, best wishes. You can literally write whatever it is that you want to write in here. And then I'm going to put them together. I'm going to keep them together because it just looks so nice. And then they are so loving and thoughtful that they actually printed out that scripture. So if you desired 
oh my cameras i just there it is so if you actually desired you would be able to really just have an opportunity to have that scripture somewhere nearby. This is one of the reasons why I thought about giving it to the grandbabies because I'll tell them to put it up somewhere. And every time you see it, I want you to repeat it and then look at your bracelet and remember how much grandma loves you. All right. All while repetition brings retention, allowing them to commit that scripture to memory. All right. And then lastly, here, it also comes with its own silver polishing cloth. Ladies, I have to tell you, again, I, I want to say, I want to make clear that it's a, it's less than $50. I don't even think it was $30. Um, you can go, as always, like I always tell you, you can go and you can really look. Yeah, you know, I just dropped everything, right? Somebody is annoyed that we're talking about the Word of God right now. And he loses again. Hold on. Yes, he does. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercy we see. All that we've ever needed, God's hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Yeah, yeah. We're not giving anybody too much credit. Okay, so let's move back on. So now I'm going to show you the box. Okay, so again, beautifully displayed box, which fits perfectly into the bag. And this is how it comes. It is so, so pretty. I kind of pulled it up so that I didn't have it shaking all around. But you see that, ladies? Um, I love it. It's, it's delicate. It's beautiful. It is available for you. I can fit it on my wrist. Um, I, I think I, I, I like, I like this. I just think that I'm going to bless it. I want to give it to the, the daughters, the granddaughters, because the moment I thought about doing it, I told you that I heard the word, I heard God say, commit it to heart, walk in it, walk with it in your heart. You are to walk with your word in the heart. So this is, I'm again going to share it with the children that they will want, that they would be able to. Everything is just trying to fall apart here. Do you believe this? They would be able to commit it to memory. And um, as time goes on, and each and every time I have an opportunity to talk to them, I'll ask them about this particular scripture. So it is a blessing. Guard your heart. Above all else, it says guard your heart. For everything you do flows from it. Guard your heart. But God said to keep the word, hide thy word in thy heart so that you we don't sin against him and so when we know his word we're confident um about things that we do and we know when if we know his really know his word we become conscious of things that we do we become conscious when we do them and they're right oh yes and we become conscious when we do things when we know they're wrong and you will be convicted by it and um, sometimes if you're strong enough you'll ask god for forgiveness and if you've offended someone else You'll go to that person and you'll ask them for forgiveness. So key in this season, guys. I, I, ladies, I want to tell you, I don't know why I'm going here, but I just feel like I need to say that. In this season of Mother's Day, so this is it, ladies. This is it. For those of us that don't have our mothers anymore, I want you to do this for me. I want you to remember not the bad thing. I want you to remember, not every time she missed it. I want you to remember, not the time that maybe she never had it right. Some of us didn't have great relationships with our mothers. I'm grateful to God that it really did. But I want you to remember that she still was a blessing because she gave you life. And so celebrate your life because of her and think of something wonderful. The word of God tells us that when we think on those things that are good and lovely and those things that are of a good report, and when we put our mind on him, God promises to keep us in perfect peace. So think on something wonderful. Okay, I'm up to my 15 minutes and it's time for me to go. I promised I would only do 15 minutes. And I'm looking at this camera clock says 14, 27, 28, 29. Ladies, remember that I love you. And there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Yes, I will see you song soon. And remember that. What is my saying? 
You can do all things through Christ. But he has given us the strength to do it. For great is the he that is within us than the he that is in the world. Check it out. I think you'll enjoy it.